It's the worst thing you've ever done. There's some girl on my chin. I'm doing my thing, right? I smashed, and then she was like, yo, go ahead, eat my for me. I hit her. So then she was like, yo, put it in my So I was like, all right, cool. So I put it in her and she was like, oh, shit. She pulled away. When she pulled away, I was like, okay. And in my mind, I'm like, all right, she's tired of it, right? No. She turns the lights on, and then I noticed that she sucked my dick really quick. We're looking face to face. She has sh** on the corner of her lip. She just sucked the sh** off tell my Tell what she did after that, though. Tell him what she did. Oh, she kissed me. Hold on. He was talking kind of fast, dog. Um, hold on, bro. Hold on. I don't. I don't think I heard this man right. So let's let's go back because he was talking kind of fast. It's the worst thing you've ever done. Some girl shot on my chin. I'm doing my thing, right? I smashed, and then she was like, "Yo, go ahead, eat my." Ass. I mean, I ate her. So then she was like, "Yo, put it in my." Ass. So I was like, "All right, cool." So I put it in her, ass. and then she was like, "Oh." Sh she pulled away. When she pulled away, I was like, okay. And in my mind, I'm like, all right, she's tired of it, right? No. She turns the lights on, and then I noticed that she sucked my dick really quick. We're looking face to face. She has sh** on the corner of her lip. She just sucked the dick off tell my dick. what she did after that, though. Tell her what she did. Oh, she kissed me. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on. So, she ate the doodle -doo off his. D oh. 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 Hell. Whoa. Whoa. No. Whoa. Wait. Am I, am I, am I tripping? Am I tripping? That's what he said, right? She ate the doodle -doo off his... Yo, who sent me this? I'm finna block you. Why you sent me this? I ain't gonna block you, but... I live here playing them booty hole games, man. Clean yourself up, man. They're kind of nasty. My mama's so mother petty. She called me from Bingo talking about Miss Wanda knocked this lady out and she hit the vending machine. And she said, I'm going to go take a picture. Look at the girl. Why is she on the ground with a bag of ice? <laughs> Mind you, Miss Wanda's this big, tall stuff. Wait, hold on. Hold on, gang. Hold on now. Hold on now. Uh, Wait a minute. Somebody grandmother kind of thick. Okay. Some somebody grandmother got the yams now. I, I'm look. I'm just saying what y'all thinking. Okay. Somebody grandmother got the yams. <clears throat> My mama ain't like what the. F Why would you come on now? Look that bitch thick as a motherfucker. But who the fuck? Hey. <laughs> the out like that. She like. We haven't even started bingo yet. And they called the paramedics and all this shit. My mama's so fucking messy. Hey, bro, look. I know I wasn't tripping, bro. Somebody grandmother got the yams. Somebody grandmother had the yams. I ain't gonna lie. If if this, this channel is about being honest, okay? I come at y'all with straight honesty. I don't I don't be faking nothing. I just tell y'all how I be feeling. If I was single. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be out here taking all all y'all grandmother's uh, social security check now. How grandmothers look when I was growing up and how grandmothers look now is different. Keep it 100. Because when I was in school, some of y'all mothers is huff. You feel what I'm saying? Some of y'all grandmothers was hit. I'll be on the internet. I'll be seeing some of these 50, 50 plus, 55 plus, 60. They look hittable. Some of y'all grandmothers is out here looking hittable. I don't know if it's the water. I don't know what's going on. But grandmothers in the 2020s, they looking fine. I'm just throwing that out there. Y'all never been thinking that shit. Don't, don't, like, don't somebody finna, oh, you nasty. All right, well, and? And? I got broken up with because I posted this video on my story. <laughs> Dramatic as 
I was only talking to him for three weeks and we went on one date. But after I posted that story, he was so annoyed with me. He basically told me that he doesn't do guy best friends um, with the girls that he's speaking to. And if he's pursuing someone, he just doesn't really respect the fact that I'm, you know, I have a male in my life that I love real bad. Now, some of you may be as confused as me because this is literally my best friend of six years. He's like my brother at this point. So why is he your boyfriend? Look at him a certain way. But this guy was serious and he was not letting up on this boundary that he had placed. So the only thing I could do was respect it. I explained it to him what the situation was, that it was not like that, but he wasn't hearing it. So he cut me off. You know, I'm not going to lie. I see exactly where he's coming from. He saw a boundary. He set one and said, you know what? I don't think that this is going to go any further. They've been, they've been friends for six years. And it seems like there's two people already in this relationship and three is a crowd. Mm. Like, you're saying, I love him real bad. Mm. That's what chicks say about their man, mm. that they love real bad. Why are you using relationship and romantic terminology with a platonic friend? Mm -hmm. Like, you're the one that's blurring the lines. Mm. It look like a couple. It doesn't look like there's any room in your current relationship for him to fit. Mm -hmm. so he exited himself out. He's not wrong for that. Mm -hmm. You already know you're not cutting this man off for six years for a man you've only been on three dates with. And you shouldn't. But you're expecting him to overlook a lot. Y'all look like y'all already a couple. And let me also say this. A man can tell when another man is playing is his role. Oh. This man looks like he may have been friend zone. There are plenty of men out here who will be in a relationship with a woman for ten whole years or more. And actually think that they, their female friend could be their wife one day. You think I'm making it up? Well... How long have you been friends? Ten years. Yeah, ten years. Ten, ten, going on eleven yeah. years. In that time period, have you never had feelings for each other? No, like, he's been just like, such a great friend. So, like, I couldn't, like, see the other side of it. Could you ever see her being your wife one day? <laughs> I mean... It's like, <laughs> I mean, it's possible. I mean, it's possible. So you wouldn't rule that out? I wouldn't we completely. We I've never a hundred percent thought about it. Um, I mean, it's possible, but yeah, we're friends. How come it's a possibility in your mind, but for you, you're like, I would just never look at him that way. We've been such good friends. I don't want to ruin the friendship. How could you ruin a friendship by? Getting closer. Well, mm. you know, like when people take friendship into relationships, they're not meant to be in a relationship. They were always meant to be friends. He just doesn't fit that box? No, I wouldn't say that because he fits all the boxes. Then why not move the relationship further? I never thought about it, honestly. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let her get away with that. Yo. I don't quite agree with the whole, if I'm in a relationship with you, you allowed to have a male best friend. Now, I know there's people out there who, they they going to say they've been doing it for years, they, you know, whatever. But that's just my boundaries, like homie have a boundary. I just don't, I don't agree with that. But another thing that I don't agree with, because women, not all, but a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all. I have these dudes that in your mind, I'm going to marry him one day. And y'all put him in this friend zone and y'all use him. You use him. Because he's always there for you. He's always there to pick up the pieces. The friendship is not equal. Bro, he's literally everything you, you need. Because you know you still have him there to fall back on, you just play the fill. You play the fill. And I feel sorry for dudes like that. I feel sorry for dudes like that. Me personally, if I get in, let's say I'm me and my wife, you know, it doesn't work out and I start talking to, to a female and, you know, we're older now. So getting into relationship in your 30s with a new person, this person has already have previous relationship. They're already coming with baggages. And one of them baggages may be a male friend who has been around forever. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going for that. I'm going to just stop talking to you. Because I know what time it is. You feel me? I'm not going to allow this man to disrespect me. Because me and him going to know what time it is. You know, you might act like you, you fucking oblivious to the situation. But me and him going to know what time it is. Perfect example. Perfect example. 
I got a homeboy. I ain't gonna call his. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna call his name now. I ain't gonna call his name. But from since we were young, we used to be like, yo, how did your daddy get your mother? Cause this his mother is fine. When I say his mother is fine, his mother is fine. But he looked like his daddy, and his daddy is huff. His daddy is huff. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, how your father got your mother, though? What, what, what the hell? And he used to tell me certain stories. Like, his daddy used to take his moms to con Like, they used to be friends and shit. And they used to hang out together. She used to go out there and go to all the parties and this, that, and the third. And, you know, sto certain stories of him having to bring her back home when she, when she got too drunk. Or, you know, like, her ex-boyfriend and da-da-da. Like, he had to beat her ex-boyfriend up and... Right? All that shit sound like to me was she was out here playing the field, messing with all these other dudes, and then eventually it was like, yo, I think me and you should just get together. After she was done doing everything she done, she finally realized, yo, you know what, I think me and you should get together. And this nigga been patient for years. He been he been patient for years, just playing his position, and he find she finally called his number. But she knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. So, like I said, there are some men who will play their friend zone position for a decade or more. They'll wait on you. They'll patiently wait until you're ready. Just because she don't like him like that doesn't mean he don't. He like don't her like her like, like that. that. Yeah. And that man might have picked up on that and said, "You know what? This is too messy for me." Facts. And I don't blame him. Now, some people will try to say that this is being controlling, but I don't think so. It would be controlling if he said, I really like you, I want to stay in your life, but you're going to have to let go of that friend of yours for six years. That this is man didn't say any of that. He just said, I already see after three dates, this is too much for me and I can't handle it. Mm -hmm. Best of luck to you. He's not wrong for that. He's not. He would only be controlling if he tried to make her choose. He's not. He didn't. He chose. She might as well have had, like, the, the trending sound to my man. Thank you to my man. With her and her best friend, because he looks like your man said. Mm-hmm. I said everything I need to say. Next video. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, hold on. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I wasn't expecting this. Um, I see the, what, mm. Nigga, you're married. You're, you're married. You shouldn't be on the internet acting like this. Um, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is why I stopped going to the gym, bro. This is why, like, I had to sign up to a new gym. I signed up to a gym that got nothing but old people in it, bro. Because at LA Fitness, it used to be just like this. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and just, you know, for for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and finish, uh, finish watching it. I'm like I'm so serious that like I feel so uncomfortable going to the gym now because I don't want to be labeled a creep but at the same time I'm not gay. You know, certain times you try to have the gym face where you just be, you just got to look away. You know what I'm saying? Like I be walking on the stairmaster and a motherfucker might be in front of me on the treadmill. She no drawers on 
and then she wearing the leggings that got the extra cushion to make the cheek stand up and you know it's it's a lot going on it'd be a lot going on back then i'd be having to look away i'd be having to look away but at the same time now i'm, I'm gonna keep it 100 we live in atlanta so me as a grown-ass man looking away somebody else might get the wrong idea you know what I'm saying? Cause it, it it be gay dudes at the gym too. It be they be at the gym too now. You feel me? So I'm looking that way. The female got the, she got the fluff. I look this way. Uh, grown ass man gonna say, oh he he don't like that. Well he must like this. And and you know it just it's just a lot of it's, it's a the politics in the in the gym is, is crazy, man. Politics in the gym is crazy. Y'all making it hard. Y'all making us uncomfortable. I'm just throwing that out there. That's crazy. At least somebody understand. It's it's real hard to just go to the gym as a heterosexual man just to go in there and work out now. I get to working out. My blood flowing. My juice is flowing. And here you go. Just, just enticing me. You know what? I'm married. I don't care what y'all heifers do. <clears throat> do you?